guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about Rails performance, specifically the last modified and e-tag um, headers. These are headers that you can easily set in Rails that will give you massive, massive performance improvements for your browsers and users who have already seen a page before. So let's take a look at an example. If we add a post here, like test post, and create a body here, we can open up the network tab and refresh our page and take a look at that network request. You'll notice it took 29 milliseconds um, because it's on localhost and it's generated an e tag and a cache control header um, by default. So notice this says 4e6d. If we refresh this page and we look at the e tag again, this is a different uh, e tag. Now, if you aren't familiar, the e tag is a response header that's, identif that's an identifier for a specific version of a resource. So basically, whenever our post changes, we should have a different e tag. But you'll see that Rails by default 